All right, folks, we're going to show you how we process our bread and butter pickles. I mean, we've been growing cucumbers now for the last two months. We had an abundance of cucumbers this year. And uh, one of the ways that you can make your, um, your investment go a long way, and it doesn't cost a lot to invest in cucumbers, is that we make pickles. And we also make relish, but today we're going to be doing our bread and butter pickles. Now what I use here is a mandolin. This will really save you a lot of slicing. And I'm gonna start processing these. In the meantime, I have my pickling spice and solution on the boil. I just turned it off. It's been cooking long enough. And you cook that for about 20 minutes. This is what I use. Sometimes I make my own, but today I'm using this. It's a shortcut. It's uh, Mrs. Wages uh, Zesty Bread and Butter Pickles. Oh, she changed the bag. Wasn't yeah. it in the, just it, all green? That it one? was all green at one point, yeah. Different now. This is a regular eating cucumber. This is a pickling cucumber. But as far as we're concerned in doing this, it's, it really doesn't matter. Okay, what's important is that you cut the ends off. Put those in your compost. Because sometimes the ends will have a, like a bitter taste to them. And you really don't want that. So let's cut the ends off. And we plan on making about oops, three pints, three or four pints a day. I had to get that one to rinse. All right, we're ready to start this process. The mandolin makes it so much better. Slice, 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 slice. As you can see, that's what your slice is gonna look like. A regular slice of pickle. Keep going, repeat. You know you can put that on there. On what? On your pan. Oh, yeah, even yeah. better. Oh, much better. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. I'm going to slice them straight in. This is great. When you get down to the bottom of this thing, too. Yeah, I'll say that for later. Okay. That one is hung up. A lot easier to use it that way. Yeah, you want to the next you one. You want this? Yeah, I got enough space to hold it. Mm -hmm. Makes it a lot easier and a lot neater cut when you use a mandolin. Mm -hmm. This one's feeling a little soft, so I'm gonna stop soon. I'll leave that. I'll come back to that later. Yeah, this makes all your pieces nice and uniform. You'll be able to see it once he's done. I like to use it to cut um, if I'm trying to make um, chips, just different things that I'm trying to make. If I need to cut onions, they come with all different things, all different attachments. It's a lot nicer. For the perfect bread and butter pickles. How's the angle? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Escapee. Yeah, right. Two escapees. This come right out the little hole. Let's slide right through. Yeah, there's a little hole like right here. Oh. Okay. Oh, they were stacking up. Works out perfect. Careful. Yeah. You need to use a thing. Yeah. Oh, you have to open it up first. There you go. Now push the vegetable in there. Now you can work it down. Mm, it's so thin. Oh, it won't fit? Mm, it's the thin. It's going to hit the yeah. spikes. Okay. Just do it this way. Just be careful. Definitely don't want to run your finger yeah, across that, that. That thing's really sharp. Yeah. 
So we'll just finger them down and be careful. Okay. That's enough. Is that enough? That's the sliced cucumber. Now we're gonna put them in our solution. Right now I have the jars warming up in the bath canner. So I'll bring the jars in, we'll pack the jars, and then we'll bath can them for, uh, I think it's like 10 to 15 minutes. How long do we have to let the um, the brine cook? No, we're gonna, we're gonna put these, the brine is cooked for 20 minutes. Okay. So you boil it, you bring it to a boil, and then slow cook it down for about 20 minutes. Okay. Um, maybe we can use another pickle or so. Just to make sure we have enough. Another cucumber. Always cut your ends off. You gotta have a million of these. Yeah, seriously. Oh, that's right. You should have up here. Yeah. And faster. You don't have to worry about being uniformed or sitting there at the table slicing all the time. Just a little gadget. We bought from a local grocery store here. I think it was maybe $10. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, makes it work a whole lot easier. All right, so I'll bring the jars in and we'll pour the, um, the bath on them. And we'll get ready to start canning. All right, right now we're gonna add a little bit of onion to these bread and butters to give it a little more additional flavor. Yeah. Again, watch your fingers when you're dealing with one of these things. Break these up, mix them in. You can also put a garlic, a clove of garlic if you like. Yeah. What are we doing, bread and butters? If we dill, I like garlic and dill, and mm -hmm. bread and butter, just add these. Or you can add, if you want them spicy, you can add some hot pepper flakes. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. Like a spicy hot dill? Yeah. Let's try some hot pepper flakes. That's interesting. Or we could use our own hot pepper. <laughs> yeah, if you throw your hot peppers and... And save them, them and dry them. Lay yeah. up there. It should be up there somewhere. You're still on video. Okay. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> working on this food here. Working on these pickles. Okay. Um, Wait, where are they going? Like, yeah, these are our own cayenne peppers that we grew last year. We dried them. And uh, oh, too many, make it too hot. Add a little bit, yeah, but that's more than a little bit. Man, I got three jars, five jars. I'm not gonna put them all up, just a couple of them. You like them hot, not that hot. Where's the funnel? It's on there, yeah. Cayenne's not that hot anyway. The thing with packing them is that is because they're slices, they really don't want to pack down good. You really got to watch them when you put them in there. So 
So these will be the spicy ones. We'll label them spicy. Pack them down in there. Don't be afraid to squeeze them down. This is once they um, soften, they'll. I mean, not really soften, but once they get a little softer. Took out five paints. You may have a little bit more than that. So how many cucumbers do you think that was? Four or five? Uh, about six. Six, six medium-sized cucumbers made, a, uh, uh, made about five, five paints. paints here. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So even if you aren't growing your own, you want to just go to the store and buy five cucumbers. And just can your own, make your own bread and butter. You can do that too. Yeah. Okay, this is the stragglers we have left. And we'll see. We'll pour some of this stuff in here. Pickle and spice. Yeah, you have to add sugar. It's typically like one cup of sugar for one cup of vinegar. Mm -hmm. Or you can make your own. Interesting. I found out the more you pack them, the less pickling spice you have to use. So it helps to really pack them tight. Tastes like if we did pickles with like some of the I don't know peach bourbon, but like if we want to do other alcohol other than bourbon in them, well, you could try like flavored alcohol. I wonder what that I guess we'd probably have to see like what flavor would actually be good. Well, most um of the ones that are uh, spiced are spiced with bourbon, and we have bourbon here, we can try it because didn't we have uh. We had moonshine pickles before. Yeah. I was just curious. Just get some regular bourbon. Put on these ads too. Get some Evan Williams. Okay. What we're gonna do is um. I'm gonna pour some of this spice out here, some of the pickling juice out, add some bourbon. So these, the ones with the peppers in them will be bourbon spiced. I think it's that one here. This one got it? Let me see. Yeah, down there, see. Okay. So we, we will do these two as bourbon spiced pickles. Spicy bourbon. Now we're not measuring. We just gonna pour some in there just to give it a bourbon flavor. Okay. Evan Williams. 
Kentucky's number one distiller. So now we have two containers of bourbon spice. They smell really good. They pickles. smell really, really good. I mean, you can buy them in the grocery store like this too, so we're not doing anything that's illegal. Not reinventing the wheel. Yeah, we're not reinventing the wheel. So. We're just about out of the juice. Oh, that one was backing up. This one could do with some more too. And as you can see, we had just enough for five pints of pickles. Picture mm -hmm. time, babe. They look really good. Yeah, we're gonna... Nice and colorful. Don't need to tighten all the way if you're gonna win your canning. Here, let me wipe it off a little. What's that? Oh, it's a pepper in there. Always have to wipe the top of your cans off so it's proper, so it sells properly. It smells so good. And it's full. Is that gonna sit? Mm-hmm. Some of the pickles need to come up on that one. I'll eat that. Mmm. <laughs> it's good already. Mm-hmm. It tastes just like the ones in the store. Those hot, spicy bourbon ones we buy at mm -hmm. Walmart. Mmm. That's good. Okay. So this is mm. what you look. What it looks like before you... Um, Go down into the canning bath. Just probe around a little bit and make sure that it's no air bubbles in there. Should have did that to all of them. Sorry, I wouldn't take them off now because some of them are already yeah. just wipe the tops off. And they're pretty much full. Okay, we're going to take these out back. We're canning out back. I mean, it's August, it's hot in this region in August. And um, when you have to have something on a boil for 15 or 20 minutes, you definitely don't want to do it in the house. So if you have other means to do it, then do so. For the spicy bourbon, homemade cayenne, Evan Williams bourbon. All right, we're gonna put them in the can back. Thank you.